Hello, how are you today? How are my subscribers over at YouTube? And I want to say hello to um, my Facebook ministry, Helen's Ministries on Facebook. Uh, today we're going to start out with a word of prayer and go right into a scripture. And then we're going to talk about those names that Jesus is called throughout the Bible. Father God, we thank you for this time that we've come together, Lord, to share the word uh, for the glory of your name, Jesus, to build up the kingdom of God. We pray that this word would go forth and fall on ground that you've prepared to receive it, Lord. And I pray that they receive it in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay, I just want to give a quick, a quick scripture. And it is in John 8, and it starts at the um, the 30... Uh, second verse and it says they answered him we are abram's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone how can you say that we shall be set free jesus replied very truly i tell you everyone who sins is a slave to sin now a slave has no permanent place in the family but a son, listen to this, a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Amen. Now, if you notice that when he's talking about the son, he's talking about himself. And Jesus, as you know, is the one person who sets us free from our sins. Praise God for that. We thank God for sending us a Savior because, as you know, we have a sinful nature. Uh, and Jesus is the one to set us free. So I, I love that, and I thank God for him, and I praise him for it. And so today we're going to go into some names that Jesus is called throughout the Bible. In Revelations 1, in 8, he's called Almighty One. In Revelations 22 and 13, he's called the Alpha and Omega. 1 John 2 and 1, he's called an Advocate. And in Matthew 28 and 18, he's called, he's called the Perfect. He's the author and the perfecter of faith. Amen. And in John 6 and 35, he is called the bread of life. And Matthew 3 and 17, he is the beloved son of God. Matthew 9 and 15, he's called the bridegroom. And in Psalms 8, 118 and 22, he's called a chief cornerstone. Revelations 19 and 11, he's faithful and true. First Theseus, he is 1 and 10, he is a deliverer. And John 10 and 11, he is called the good shepherd. And Hebrews 4 and 14, he is called a great high priest. And Ephesians 1, and 22 is the he's called the head of the church. Acts 4, 29 and 30, he is called a holy servant. And in John 8 and 58, he's simply I am. Praise God. And in Isaiah 7 and 14, he is called Emmanuel. Over in the book of Acts 10 and 12, he's called a judge. And in Revelations 17 and 14, he is called the king of kings. Amen. Amen. I love that. And in John 1 and 29, he is called the lamb of God. And in John 8 and 12, he's called the light of this world. In Revelations 
5 and 5, he's called the Lion of the tribe, tribe of Judah. And Philippians, he's called in 29 and 11, he is called the Lord of all. 1 Timothy 2 and 5, he's called a, a mediator. And in um, Isaiah 60 and 16, he's called the mighty one. And in John 8 and 36, he is the one who sets free. Amen. 1 Timothy 1 and 1, he is called our hope. And in Ephesians 2 and 14, he's called peace. And in Mark 6 and 4, he is called a prophet. In Job 19 and 25, he is called our Redeemer. Amen. And in 1 Corinthians 15 and 3, I believe that's 15 and 34, he is called the Risen Lord. And in 1 John 4 and 10, he is called sacrifice for our sins. And in Luke 19 and 10, he is called Son of God. Here it looks like it says Son of Man. But I don't believe that's it. Um, in 1 Corinthians 1 and 16 and 17, I'm going to look that one up. He is called the creator of all. And over in uh, John 15 and 25, he is called the resurrection and the life. And in John 10 and 9, he's called the door. And in John 14 and 6, he is called the way. In John 1 and 1, he's called the word. In John 15 and 1, he's called the true vine. In John 8 and 32, he's called the truth. And in Revelations 3 and 21, he's called the victorious one. And in Isaiah 9 and 6, he's called wonderful counselor. Amen. So what I want to do is see this Luke 19, Luke 19, um, and clear that up in 10, and, and read that so that we will be on one accord with uh, our readings. Give, bear with me a moment here. For the Son of Man, oh, okay, that's true came to seek and to save the lost. So in Luke 19 and 10, he is called the Son of Man. Amen. So praise God for that. Uh, and I just want to um, say a word of prayer. Father God, we are thankful, Lord, that you have given us this time together. Lord, we pray that um, you would bless our hearts and mind, Father, that we would meditate up on the names that Jesus has been called throughout the Bible and allow those scriptures to minister to us and we will be, uh, continue to study these scriptures and talk about them as time come Lord we just thank you and it's in Jesus name we pray amen I want to thank all of you all for for tuning in today and I also want to tell you all to subscribe uh, comment and like the channel. I would love to hear from you all, whether it is here on YouTube or over on Facebook. Um, but I do need the subscribers here to keep me going. And uh, I, I would love to have more people on here who are watching my channel. Um, and so that the word is, is being reached. And uh, I will know that it's reaching more people as people subscribe and like the channel. So I want to bless you all. I love you all. Peace and blessings to you all. Until we meet again, may God keep you. And may God bless you. But goodbye.